let's get back out of back here with a story, Spirit of Justice. Oh yes, episode two. One thing I forgot to mention, I didn't write it down in my notes as much as I meant to. Uh, when I was starting this game is, I still am not really certain what um, the title, Sp Spirit of Justice means. Dual Destinies, obviously I didn't really understand until a bit later into the story. The first Ace Attorney game, the fourth Ace Attorney game are pretty uh, self-explanatory. And then Justice for All and Trials and Tribulations, you know, they have their meaning somewhat in the games. But Dual Destinies is a much more specific title and I'm guessing Spirit of Justice will be there for as well. Is Apollo gonna die again at the beginning of this game? <laughs> oh no, and that's why he'll be a spirit. We'll have to commune with the spirit of Apollo Justice. Anyway, we uh, just got into this uh, foreign land to go meet Maya, of course, and the little guide she sent along for us was promptly accused of grand larceny and murder. And uh, so even though we're in a foreign land with weird trial proceedings, where they dance to determine who dies. We're not letting this nine-year-old go down without a fight. So, here she is, her benevolence. Your benevolence, Sir Rifa Padma Kurain. Thank you for coming all this way once again. Your gratitude is unnecessary. This is simply my duty. Barb-headed attorney. Yes. I am told you question the veracity of the sacred divination seance. No, I, I wouldn't go. I, I just wanted to uh, make sure I could see it for myself. That's okay. It would seem the depths of your irreverence and blasphemy are lost on you. I'm just a foreigner, ignorant of the ways and customs of this country. I apologize in advance for anything rude I might say or do your benevolence. All I want is a fair trial for Albie. You would imply that the trials of this country are unfair. Do explain, outsider. <laughs> I don't really know where to start with you! How verdicts founded on truths imparted by the very souls of the dead lack impartiality. What's fair about trials with no defense and no chance for the accused to tell their story? How dare you speak to her benevolence in that manner? Did you hear that? Did you hear how we talked to her benevolence? What does he know about anything? Ignorant outsider. We won't stand for it! You must be punished! Yikes. Looks like I really stuck my foot in it this time. I mean, I did say I apologize in advance. Punish him! Punish him! Punish him! Punish him! Punish him! Punish him! <laughs> Silence! One and all! Is she standing up for me? I doubt that! Be not disquieted, my people. He merely expresses his opinion. Oh well, looks like her benevolence is going to be more reasonable than I thought. <laughs> um, uh, let's not speak for too soon, Phoenix. <laughs> Attorneys are ghastly creatures, with souls stained black by brazen untruths. The words of a lowly worm such as that are not worth troubling yourselves over. All right, I take that back. <laughs> I figured you might. None of his prattling can sway the truth of my insights. Rest assured, he will soon see the error of his foolish ways. No, then your benevolence, uh, the divination seance, if you would. Certainly. Nana, my robe. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, miss. Nice arm bells. Is that for if you get lost? Oh, holy mother, we hold this divination seance in your name. They speak? Let the eyes of everyone here be clear, and our ears be unstopped. O oh, dance of devotion, guide the victim's soul to me so that we may receive their final memories in the pool of souls. We're going swimming? I have a very bad feeling that this is not going to tell us anything useful. Oh, this stuff on the ground looks like maybe it's important. Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't pay attention to that right now. Maybe I should focus on this. I wonder how different it'll be from uh, the one we saw earlier. was a bit unusual how she kind of glared at uh, Albie right the second he was arrested. Like she was completely unfazed by them coming in to arrest him, as though she knew it would happen. As though maybe she had some hand in it. Oh, Pool of Souls. That's this doohickey here, is it? Neat. Neat. I wish we could see Phoenix's face throughout this. <laughs> I'm sure it would be a sight to behold. Bruh! 
Bravo! Encore! Nice say on stance! I am probably not supposed to be clapping for this. I, I don't see what that told us. <laughs> Incense. Song of Ceremony. Boy's voice. Boy's voice. Pain. This is some advanced channeling. We see all what they feel and smell and hear and everything. What just happened? An image appeared in the pool. A final message from her victim's soul, the last communication of his mitma. Uh, the divination seance has revealed this to us. Hey, but let's get to use our power of spirit communion uh, to project the victim's memories of the last few moments before their demise. So what we saw in the pool is what Mr. Roll actually experienced? But then why didn't Albi swing the thing? In the victim's memories, we see the accused raising a weapon up over his head, and why would he not have gotten away from the person who looked like he was about to swing at something at him, or shot him, or something? <laughs> I don't see how that could possibly be worse for my client. In the victim's memories, we see the accused raising a weapon up over his head. This is consistent with the findings of the police investigation. There has to be some kind of mistake. I didn't do it! This looks bad for Albie. Really, really bad. How can we be sure that was... The last that was we saw the last moments of patrol. Are we sure it wasn't Albi trying to protect the the treasure from someone else? <laughs> Not easy. I am the incredible pain. Yeah, you know, you're incredible pain. All right, more than I can express. <laughs> but even if those really are the victim's last memories, what can I do with them? <laughs> there it is. There's the face of a man being utterly crushed. What this? <laughs> That's the base of a man thinking. Oh, how long I've waited to see it. Isn't it a wonderfully gratifying, your majesty? Oh, uh, yes, uh, very satisfying indeed. Um, now, are you finally convinced, Traveler? <laughs> the accused is most assuredly guilty. Am I really the only unbiased one here? Oh, and say you're unbiased, exactly. You come closest to it, I would say. <laughs> now then, I think we've been amused enough. If you give up now, I won't even invoke the Defense Culpability Act against you. The what? <laughs> you're free to slink back to your own country with your tail between your legs. The Defense Culpability Act? What's that? I'm afraid to ask. What? You mean you honestly don't know? What do these guys think being a foreigner means? I've never been to this country before! I don't know how this works! You're the one who did- you- you yourself knew, didn't know what a cross-examination was, and we have those back in my place. Why is it so surprising to you that I don't know that? I, uh... No? It's almost like he's a foreigner. He's never been in this country before, you might say. I wonder why he doesn't know these things. What's with all the hubbub? Well, well. Not only is he a lying, black-hearted lawyer, he's also an imbecile. Your Majesty, I think you guys really are just digging yourself into the most stuffy hole you could imagine. I didn't call you guys- well, I, to be fair, I wasn't very polite to them not knowing what a cross-examination was. But at least I didn't say it out loud. Your Majesty, I think you'd better explain the Defense Culpability Act to him. Yes, I think I'd better. <laughs> the Defense Culpability Act, or DC Act for short, is as follows. You get killed if you, your de victim's found, your defendant's found guilty, I guess. In the name of her eminence, those who would support criminals will be deemed just as guilty. In other words, if you help the accused by defending him and he is found guilty, you will receive the same sentence as he. What? What kind of insane law is that? Under the DC Act, many an attorney has been convicted and met with a grim fate. Some went to prison, others received the death penalty, and that's why there are so few in our country today who admit to being an attorney. That would explain everyone's reaction. <laughs> that's as it should be. The history of our courts proves that attorneys are black-souled creatures who will tell any lie to save the accused. <laughs> thus attorneys deserve to be exterminated! Okay, okay, um... I can read the room. We're not loved here. I've never felt so much hostility coming at me from so many sides. What could have happened to make everyone feel this way? I hope this doesn't bring Phoenix back to any flashbacks of middle school again. <laughs> you fell right into my trap, Phoenix, right? Your win streak against me and my brother ends today. With the seance and the DC act on my side, I'll finally get my revenge by killing you. <laughs> So that's why he was so eager to have me defend Albi. 
chased out and humiliated back home, fate brought to me the foothills of Gurain. I thank my lucky stars that I'm chief prosecutor here now. How many other prosecutors are here? Defense, well that if I rule that the accused is guilty, you will go to prison too. At least they're not death penalty the child. That explains Albie's reaction earlier. Defend me! Mr. Wright, what are you saying? You can't do that! So he was just saying he discuss I, I discussed him to protect me then? Your Majesty isn't a prison sentence a bit lenient. After all, we're talking about treason. And one should pay for such a crime with one's life. Hmm. Yes, I believe the death penalty might be appropriate under these circumstances. Easy! <laughs> the death penalty! No way! You're, you're kidding, right, Your Majesty? <laughs> Uh, do I look like I'm kidding? I'll have you put your life under your dark shaded soul on the line here. Death. This can't be happening. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time you've been accused, you've been threatened with the death penalty. The courts of resignation. Our courts are well known as this. In this land where my senses provide the truth and no attorneys can intervene, criminals know that all they can do is resign themselves to their fate. Oh, foreign lawyer, I ask you once more. Are you sure you still want to defend the accused? <sighs> There's more to think of in all this, too. I can't just lay down my life. What in the world should I do? I can't! I can't! She would be so pissed if I let this happen. Isn't this why I became a lawyer in the first place? Now they're threatening this kid with the death penalty, man. It's, we can't let that go. To help those with no one on their side. I can't just abandon everything I believe in. can do now. Stand firm and fight! Well, don't hold your tears back on my account, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Admit your defeat and grovel before me as the chief prosecutor for your life. Objection! Objection! <clears throat> <laughs> Even if it means being subject to the Defense Culpability Act, I will defend Albi. What? But Mr. Wright, what? <laughs> Fox cabbages upturned. The defendant insists he's innocent. And not even a divination seance should be accepted without examination. Are we gonna have Rafa uh, testify on behalf of the seance then? <laughs> Porkonka! But if I'm found guilty, you'll get the death penalty too. Even knowing that, you still want to defend me? I don't know what happened in the past. But it looks like everyone in this country considers lawyers to be liars. So, I, I can understand if you don't believe me, but... I still believe in you, and your innocence. <sighs> so all I have to do is keep believing, and find the truth. That's all there is to it. <laughs> <laughs> barb-headed attorney, you continue to amuse me. Well, I'm glad someone's entertained. Though your barbed jabs are proving to be more than mere jokes. Your benevolence. Believe me when I say, this attorney will knock your insights out. That's enough! <clears throat> Insolent, disrespectful attorney! You'll have plenty of time to regret your folly in the Twilight Realm! I'm losing my respect for you by the second! Being so eager to put people to death and all. Let's dance. Not a wise move, traveler. Not wise at all. You should have taken the chance I offered to save your life. But you have made your choice. The Defense Culpability Act will be applied in this case. That said, that seance seems like it'll be a running system. All the different sensations they get you get from them, I wonder how much they'll return. And I wonder if um, we'll be seeing the Moon Matrix and Apollo's Perceive again anytime soon. And also, only this isn't really related to what's going on now, but I keep expecting them to one day have the judge, like our, our hometown judge, <laughs> be like a, uh, a, um, a culprit in one of the cases. So I wonder if that'll somehow happen here. He'll be like vacationing here too. <laughs> and he'll be accused of murder. I can't wait for the day they eventually do that. But you have made your choice. The Defense Culpability Act will be applied in this case. And with this verdict, you'll both soon be parting with your heads. Bring it then! I heard you the first eight times! Stop shouting death! <laughs> I know what de execution means. The souls of the departed speak only the truth, and I but give their messages a voice. Oh, there's like, <laughs> they've got a fog machine running in this place. If you think my insights contain falsehood, I challenge you to prove it. Challenge accepted. Let's do it. Insight. Oh, not exactly witness testimony. 
Rafa's in sight. The accused swung whatever he was holding down on the victim's head. With the pain, the victim's vision went dark. This is when he lost his life. Still, I can't believe it. A murder after the morning dance of devotion. They keep bringing that up as though the timing of that is imperative, but I haven't yet seen exactly why. These are the victim's experiences just before his death. As the victim's final memories, we can assume they aren't lies. So how do I break this down? That's only assuming they're telling the truth here, which I guess they're, they're basically just telling me, assume that's the truth for now. Allow me to relieve you of your ignorance and defense. Did you notice the words that appeared in the seance vision? They were pretty hard to miss. Come to think of it, I did see words, like song of ceremony and incense. The victim's final memories are not limited to sight alone. Sight, smell, taste, sound, touch, always lay bare in the pool of souls. Okay, so the thing that sticks out here is that the uh, if these are Patrol's memories, he doesn't actually see the, the, the treasure box, the supposed murder weapon. He only sees your man's face and then um, uh, his voice. Here's, here's a boy's voice, anyway. So what Mr. Roll experienced with his five senses appears in the visions as words, right? Precisely. And by examining these sensations, we can perceive the victim's final moments with unparalleled clarity. Works for me. I can use all the extra information I can get. Now to find a contradiction between her insights and the seance vision. Your benevolence, I ask that you please show me the seance vision again. Very well. An incense. Looks at the bag when they smell that. Song of Ceremony, they hear that. And boy's voice, they hear that as well. But the Song of Ceremony is like off to the left somehow. So this is during the morning one, maybe? Pain. Why would you be hearing the Song of Ceremony? The Song of Ceremony is the one that was played, right? The Dance of Devotion or whatever? So if that was heard, why? how could that be if this was happened in between the two morning and evening ones? Wait a minute. Her benevolent said after the morning Dance of Devotion earlier, didn't she? Is there something off about that? I know, Phoenix. I would have liked if you let me figure it out. The Q swung whatever he was holding down to the victim's head. First I'll use A and D to make my way through the insight that, that seems off. Or I'll just click it, I think that's fine with me. Yes, this is the insight that sounded funny. Now I'll just carefully compare this insight with the seance vision. If I notice a sensation that seems contradictory, I'll select it. So I do, I, 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 it's kind of like the, the perceived one where I have to pause it on the one that seems off. This is it, this is the part of the vision that contradicts the insight. Okay, and so, it, oh, okay, the, the, these little things here are just marking how many stages of it there are. There are five little sensations. Now I just select the sensation I think is inconsistent and present it. Okie doke, that'll be, uh, this sound over here, please. That, uh, Objection! Oops. Objection! Wait just a moment! Yes. What is it, barbed head? You're saying that the incident occurred after the morning dance of devotion, right? That's right. What of it? If you're about to say it was the song of ceremony was playing, we have it playing constantly on a loop on a phonograph in that building. Then isn't it strange that Mr. Roll could still hear the song of ceremony? Oh my, you're absolutely right. <gasps> Shock and awe. <laughs> this guy laid down his life and wasn't just full of hot air. <laughs> Is that all that troubles you? Huh? What the victim heard was just a practice run of the song of ceremony. Practice run? What are you talking about? Mr. Payne, if you would. Oh, yes, yes, allow me, please, yes, yes, certainly, allow me to explain. The incident occurred in the interval between the morning and afternoon dances. During that time, the singers were practicing in the performance hall. Precisely. I was there as well, so I can corroborate the statement. I see. So what I've heard was that practice session. <sighs> there was my contradiction. Okay, so they were practicing in this performance hall. That must be the room where Albie and I saw her benevolence dancing. However, Mr. Payne, I admit one detail troubles me. You know what's cool about this? Sorry, I, 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 can't, I can't help but uh, point out how cool it is that there, like all these little markings that are on this are like consistent with the ones in uh, on the, the casing and stuff up here. Like, There's a very, a very clear dedication to like making this the architecture of this place consistent. I love it. However, Mr. Payne, I admit one detail troubles me. Finally! Ask away, your majesty! It's a big temple. The performance hall and the treasure room are quite far from each other. It's news to me. Could the song really be heard all the way in the treasure room? That's right. It's a very big temple. Well, 
How about it, Mr. Payne? <laughs> Your Majesty, have you forgotten? There are speakers in every room of Temple Temple, including the treasure room. Oh, well, that's right. Speakers? For what purpose? <laughs> are you serious, Mr. Wright? They're to broadcast the sacred music of the performance all throughout the temple. That's why the victim could hear the song of ceremony in the seance vision. It was the practice run going on in the performance hall heard over the speakers. Thank you for your explanation, Your Benevolence. That makes perfect sense, even to a feeble-minded old man like me. Think nothing of it. Now, if you wouldn't mind, could you please alter your insights for us? Very well. Insight revised! The accused one would never... Uh, sorry, still, I can't believe... Uh, the song and ceremony the victim heard was of a practice run through the temple's speakers. I think I'm getting the hang of this. If I pointed out an inconsistency, she'll update her insights accordingly. So if I keep pointing things out, maybe I can knock all of her insights out after all. Better find another inconsistency, no matter how small. I haven't noticed anything else. Mm, it's a bit hard to focus on the insights when the seance vision going. I'll try using pause to temporarily stop the vision. Oh, they want me to, sorry, they want me to do it. Yep, yeah, sure. There, I paused the vision. I think I can use M and B to jump to different parts of the vision. I'll try moving the Midama mark to the flashing panel, red panel there. I'll just click on it, I think that's a bit easier. Okay, now that I know how to get around in Seon's visions, it's time to find inconsistencies between the insights and the vision. Yes, I didn't notice anything uh, jumping out to me just yet. I mean, they say that he swung whatever he was holding down on the victim's head, but that doesn't happen until, like, over here, so that's a little weird. Oh, no, sorry, I see, okay. So it's the five stages, but then these three, like, testimony bits are a bit different. Interesting. It seems like the kind of thing, kind of like the Mute Matrix and all, where I don't actually lose health for doing it wrong. Because, uh, again, it's one of those things where... The answers can be a little obtuse just because of the way memory works and stuff. I mean, it seems pertinent that we look at the bag when we hit incense, smell incense, but... Because we don't see, like, a candle burning anywhere. I guess that's probably as good as anything. Objection! Objection! There's an inconsistency between this insight and the victim's memories! An inconsistency, you say? And where exactly do you see this supposed inconsistency? Yes, defense, please be specific. Well... I don't know how specific I can be exactly, but, um, I just get the vague feeling that something doesn't quite add up, you know? <sighs> no, I don't know, but I do know you're skating on thin ice defense. By your leave of benevolence? Do it. Penalty! Oh, no, you do get penalized for this. Rip! <clears throat> Here I thought I was skating so gracefully on that ice, too. I get the feeling I was way off the mark with that one. I better take another good look at this insights and sensations. I doubt there are any mistakes in the victim's last memories, so that must mean one of her benevolence insights is off. Okay, it's fine. Incense can just come from bags, it doesn't need to come from candles, that's okay. Oh, right, no, sorry, I'm supposed to compare it with this, uh, with the, the speech here. I just, I just had it on a random point. Sorry, of course, I'm supposed to compare it to this stuff here. The memories are, are what we know to be fact. Sorry, I'm, I got that messed up. Um... I mean, we never actually see him swing it. I guess we could say that. Like, we don't see any speakers, sure, but the, the person's only looking in one direction, so... Speakers and candles, I guess they, they could be somewhere else. Oh boy, this is looking like it's gonna be tough, but I think I think the, the, the thing that's most important to me is that we don't actually see him swing anything. But I don't know whether to put that here or here. Because it looks like he, he gets, like, hit by something else or surprised by something else, right? And then boy's voice is loud, so he screams, and then the vision's already dark, but he hasn't swung anything. Oh boy! I believe that... Okay, so I can either compare it with one of these things or just what the victim is seeing. Oh, okay. I'm getting how this goes. Um, so I guess in that case we wouldn't want to put it on the vision goes dark bit. We want to put it here because it, the boy is very obviously not swinging anything here. But I don't feel like... It feels like they would want to put do some more concrete in that. But that's the thing that sticks out to me. And sometimes in this game I've learned to trust my gut. I'm not feeling super confident in my gut right now. My gut feels like <laughs> it's failing at this miserably, but... OBJECTION! Music didn't stop. It's usually not a good sign, is it? Alright, that was it. Okay, I gotta be real careful here. Definitely don't want to lose on the first case again. Okay, so, so what I should really do here is I should start with this first phrase. The accused swung whatever he was holding down on the victim's head. I should watch the whole thing through, thinking about just that, and see whatever... W what contradicts that, if anything. And then I should do that for each of the three bits of Rafa's testimony, essentially. Oh, or is there? Are we, are we trying to get at that 
His vision darkens first. Well, it's kind of, it's hard to say because the vision goes dark. No, the vision clearly does go dark before there's any pain, right? Yeah, it does. Oh, okay, there we go. That's probably it. Objection! I see, okay. You're saying the victim's field of vision went dark right after he was struck, correct? Of course, as anyone with eyes can see. Well, pardon me, but I must disagree. What? Your benevolence, please take another look at the exact moment the victim felt pain. Oh! Everything goes black, and then only after that the victim feels pain. Inconceivable! It's very conceivable! I just conceived it! This place is the order of events at odds with what you say happened! My word! Pokonka! Your benevolence! What is the meaning of this? I cannot be wrong. My insights are beyond fallacy. If what the defense says is true, this is a very grave matter indeed. Please forgive me, your benevolence, but I'm afraid this contradiction is something we simply can't ignore. Okay, I'm glad I figured that one out and didn't just have to mash through and die a bunch of times. It's tricky though because it's it it's sort of it's it, okay. I, I think now I'm kind of getting it, but I was it wasn't clear to me exactly that the timing of things was that specific because I thought because there were five tabs, there were just five time periods. But no, it's it's a video with several points to it. Okay, I get I get how that's going to be a very interesting thing. The timing of things. In the future, there will be things like, I heard a gunshot, and then I did this. But you'll clearly hear the gunshot after or something like that. Okay, okay. I'm um, getting yeah, no, this is going to go. Objection! <laughs> now, now, let's not be too hasty, your majesty. I think I can clear this up. You have something to add, Mr. Payne? A thousand apologies. It seems the prosecution has failed to make one tiny thing clear. And that would be... On the day of the incident, there was a power outage, a blackout in one part of the temple. One tiny thing? And as I recall, the crime scene was in that sector. The power outage must be why the victim's field of vision went dark. I apologize for neglecting to tell the court this detail. I'm afraid it slipped my mind. I'd rather you knew all along and are only letting it slip now. That's convenient, pain. The power outage knocked out both the lights and the speakers. Oh. There was a blackout was there, was there? Well, now, um, that explains everything, does it not? No! <laughs> what do you mean, your benevolence? Please share your thoughts with us, if you would. The blackout occurred when the accused and the victim were faced with one another. Fearing the victim would flee under the cover of darkness, the accused swiftly brought his weapon down on the victim's head. I see! That makes perfect sense, your benevolence. So the victim was struck after the lights went out. Hmm... Yes, the depth of your insight is all inspiring your benevolence. Give her a hand, everyone! Well done! Long may you live and prosper! Hey, I want to live long and prosper too. <laughs> Enough applause. You flatter me. Mm. So they are allowed to applaud for her. <laughs> no, your benevolence, in light of this new information. Yes, of course. I will alter my insight. Okay, okay. Let me focus up here, and this I gotta be focusing very specifically on the wording of these things. One can safely assume the accused struck the victim at the moment after the blackout began. I respectfully disagree. As long as the victim heard was of the pitch wrong, okay. So much for my inconsistency. At least I was able to draw out some new info. With my new info comes a chance to find new inconsistencies. Now to compare the insights with the vision again and see what else I can dig up. So that makes it sound like we wanna we wanna be specifically going on to the one that was that happened here. That said, this doesn't really. Ah! Ha, ha, ha. If there was a blackout, how could you be hearing this over the speakers? Objection! Ah, oh, found that one rather quick. I'm feeling good about that. Ha, ha! Yes, I finally found it. This is the gaping hole I've been looking for. Your benevolence. As impressive as your spirit communion power is, it's not infallible. You never know when to stop talking, do you? Seems I'm not the only one. I hope you realize your words are an insult to all adherents of Koreanism. Don't you dare talk about Maya like that! She would never be so stupid! Defense! What would you say? If you don't mind that tongue of yours, you won't have one left of mind. I'm gonna die if you if I if I fail this case, if it, if it didn't cross your mind, Your Honor. Your Majesty, sorry. It's certainly not my intention to insult spirit mediums. But maybe I'm not the one who needs to learn when to stop talking. What malarkey! I believe you said a few moments ago that the victim could hear the song of ceremony thanks to the temple's speakers. <laughs> then how do you explain how the victim could still hear the song of ceremony even after the power went out? Oh. This contradiction of facts can only mean that song of ceremony Mr. Rollhart was not coming from the speakers. What? Impossible! I love that it's like it's a bit, it's like a, uh, his uh, objection theme, but like in a 
a higher octave or whatever, and with a bit more, like, hits to it, orchestra hits. What are you saying? That the song he heard was coming directly from the performance hall. I.e. was, this was happening during one of the performances, and maybe it wasn't necessarily the moment of death then? Is that what we're getting at? That's exactly what I'm saying. It's the only possible explanation. But the scene of the crime was nowhere near the performance hall. Right. The song couldn't make it all the way to the treasure room. Unless... You mean to say... Yes, the treasure room was not the actual scene of the crime. It must have been somewhere else, somewhere closer to the performance hall. What? You can't be serious. There is a glaring contradiction in the claims of her benevolence and the prosecution. And actually, this this whole thing of suddenly going dark has something got to do with the, the, the shutters being shut. But we haven't quite seen, found a place to use that just yet. Therefore, the defense insists that this case be thoroughly re-examined. What? No. This is completely unprecedented. An inconsistency in her benevolence is on insights. Unbelievable. Maybe Rafe was just really arrogant or something, but it seems like she really wants this kid to die. <laughs> in a way that only the real killer would, but we know the real killer is someone else. Maybe that real killer is an accomplice of hers somehow. Heed not his fourth tongue, your majesty. These are but the claims of a corrupt lawyer. A feeble ruse from a feeble mind. But, but the contradiction revealed by the defense is undeniable. I, I can't, we can't, we can't just turn a blind eye to it. But what's the defense's assertion is in the end meaningless? Even if the location of the murder turned out to be a different, it doesn't change what we've seen at the moment of the murder. But it changes the photograph a hell of a lot. I indeed. The accused is standing right there in front of the victim. Furthermore, the murder weapon remains raised above his head. My insides still stand. You don't know that that's the murder weapon. I hate to admit it, but she's right. Scott's vision still makes the situation look really grim for Albie. <laughs> I doubt even the defense can dream up an explanation as do I. The accused had his hands up over his head. All this defense dares to dream of making out of this nightmare alive. Hey, what? You still insist on trying to tear down my insights, do you? You better be prepared to back up your claim. I'll be beheaded if I don't get this right. What what doesn't click with this to you? They're like, oh, must you keep going on with this? <laughs> Can't you just get beheaded and like get over it? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Remember what will happen to that tongue of yours if we find you are just wagging it. Of course I can back up my claim. Just as soon as I, as soon as I think of something. <sighs> You appear to be fully prepared, defense. As the embodiment of this court, I give you permission to try and prove your claim. As long as you're willing to stake your life on it, I incur your majesty. <sighs> Prepare the tongue shears. Chop chop. Just chop chop. Yes, yeah, let's have the bailiff fetch them. I think I saw a suitable pair in the basement. Chop chop. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I hear that lying lawyers have several tongues to spare. I'm sure you won't miss one. Felix, these people are actually serious. I'm rather attached to my tongue. Thank you, Phoenix. Think. Other than to raise a weapon, why would all be as held his hands up like that? To protect. Oh, someone was pointing a gun at him. Aha! So that's why. I was thinking more like he was holding the treasure box out of reach of someone that was trying to steal it. The real thief. The reason the defendant had his hands up over his head can be explained by something in this crime photo. Oh, it explains why Albie had his hands raised over his head. Right, that'll be the gun then. Take that! As in the seance vision. I wish the defendant raised both of his hands over his head yesterday. You did? Where did you see such a thing? When the police had their guns trained on him as they made their arrest. Oh! Are you saying... The victim was a security guard and an armed one at that. Oh, okay, so... So we're getting a picture of this now. For whatever reason, Albie was in there and Patrol, you know, unfortunately thought that he was stealing it. So he had his gun trained on him. And so Albie's there with his hands up and then sees the actual killer coming from behind and says, Look out behind you! And then... This is too late, unfortunately, and the killer conks him on the head. All right, all right, okay, I'm getting a picture of this. The victim was a security guard and an armed one at that. The defense proposes that the victim had pointed his firearm at Albie, and that's why the defendant's hands were raised in the air. Oh, Kanka! <laughs> She's got a tattoo on her back. Um, K.O. K.O. <laughs> I would have thought that the seance vision could be interpreted that way. I'm up again. I'm awake again. <laughs> this is not possible. It, it it can't be. Not bad for a total knockout. How oh, dare that lawyer double go against her benevolence? He's not better than that traitor snake, Turkey. Traitor snake, Turkey. Who's that? Or maybe just Dirk? No, I can't believe it. A contradiction in one of my insights. That's the third one, actually. <laughs> there has to be some kind of mistake. I... I won't accept it. 
That's right, you benevolent and I won't accept it either. It goes against all we hold sacred. The throw him in jail immediately for, let's say, majesty. What? What? Yeah, you said it. Throw him in jail. Yes, I can pay for the way he disrespected her benevolence. <sighs> These people are definitely not my fans right now. That's right, exterminate him! Exterminate! Oh, they're gonna do it, sorry. <laughs> I wish the judge had any capacity to silence them in the same way. Peace, I said! I said peace! Oh, now everyone, please calm down. Hmm? Is he? Hey, your majesty, please assign this black-hearted attorney a suitable punishment. <clears throat> oh. I can't charge him with lazy majesty. Lazy majesty? I'm not sure what the joke is being made there. What? What? But, but why not, your majesty? You were simply following the proper procedure for defending the accused. There's nothing unlawful about that. But, but, but your majesty, uh, you, don't you want to wrap this trial up quickly? Uh, why not just give up your verdict, then you can go home and make it up to your wife? We can't have the trial now, not when we just learn new information about the case. Why I hurt? Your majesty? Not you too? You would honestly entertain the idea that my insight contains a contradiction. You just said it yourself. Truly, it is shocking. In the 20 plus years since the DC Act went into effect, such a thing has never occurred. And I suspect it will not be the only surprise to you, my friends, in this case on this day. But not this episode, I'm afraid, because that is all the time we have for now. Oh man, I forgot how much recording these games wears me out. <laughs> Alright, got a little shaky there in our, in our introduction to the um, the insight system. But it was because I, I was getting confused about... Uh, I, I was I was trying to contradict senses against each other. The, ins the, the incense smell with what we saw. Which is not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to contradict them, uh, compare, contrast them with the statements. Feel like we're getting more of a hang on it though. So here's to uh here's to not getting beheaded in our first day of, of, of playing this game, as in our first in-game day of Spirit of Justice. I wonder, are we gonna be here in um Kurain land for uh all of uh, the entire game, or is this just for the intro case? Hmm. The mind boggles. And is Rafa gonna come back as like a prosecutor after we uh get all be declared innocent? Just like out of vengeance for, for messing up her seance? <laughs> That'd be interesting. All kinds of things are going on uh, interestingly in this game, I say. Third file, lucky file. But that is all for now, so thank you so very much for coming around to this episode of Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. Next video on the channel is going to be some more Fireman 3 Houses, our Vernon Wind Assassins only run. And uh, hopefully we'll see you around. Admiral's going to be out of here now. Peace. When the clown dressed as St. Seros decapitated uh, the criminal and dressed as Nemesis with a single swing, the spectators cheered with unbridled enthusiasm. Ah, I understand why the church had one that kept under wraps. A young man staring at Emperor Wilhelm. Emperor Wilhelm was the first emperor of addressing it as he caught the saint and pulled her into a close embrace. Suddenly, back in the 15th, um, Press his lips to my ear.